Hi there. Um, this video is for any of our students that missed our basic genetics uh, introduction. Follow along with your class notes. So this is your class notes, and I know it's a little bit hard to see, but uh, just follow along and try to listen. So we want to start out with the definition of a uh, Punnett square. A Punnett square is actually a tool that we use. It's a mathematical tool that we use um, to predict offspring in a genetic cross. And um, read through the steps listed. These are the, these are the steps that we want you to follow every time you do a genetics problem. And uh, if you do that, you're, you are bound for good things. You will be able to figure everything out that we ask. Okay? You've got some vocabulary under your belt. You must know the words genotype and phenotype, homozygous and heterozygous. Okay? So um, I'm going to jump down to the example and fill this out with me. Okay? So the example, it says number three, brown eyes are dominant to blue eyes. If a blue-eyed man marries a heterozygous brown-eyed woman, what color can their offspring have? Or what color can their children have? What color eyes can their kids have? All right, we want you to start out making a key in this um, order every time we're going to list the homozygous dominant genotype first, then heterozygous, then homozygous recessive. So I'm going to write the genotypes first and let's use the letter B. So big B, big B, then big B, little B, and little B, little B. I did it in this order. This is homozygous dominant, this is heterozygous, this is homozygous recessive. Um, Dominant and dominant allele gives us brown eyes. Um, big B and little b gives us brown eyes also. And little b, little b gives us blue eyes. All right. This one gives us brown eyes because this allele, the, the dominant allele, overpowers the blue-eyed allele. And so we only see brown eyes. A person with these brown eyes, uh, the eye color will look just like this person. Okay, and a little disclaimer, eye color is a little more complicated than what we're saying, but uh, this is just basics. All right, so after we do this, it's important to know that this side are, the, are your genotypes, and this side are, uh, these are your phenotypes listed. All right, next, you list the, the parents' genotypes. So you look back up in your problem, and it says you've got a blue-eyed man. Well, what genotype would that be? Little b, little b and um, is marrying a heterozygous brown-eyed woman. All right, so heterozygous is this one. We're going to list her genotype. Now, remember, Mendel said that, um, that these, these uh, pairs of genes, these, these alleles, are going to separate and go into separate sex cells um, during meiosis. So the way we're drawing our sex cells is with circles, and we write one letter in each sex cell. So you split those gene pairs um, apart, and we have our sex cells now. All right. Next, you draw a Punnett square, and you're going to place the sex cells on the side and the top. Punnett square is our tool to make predictions about the offspring. Make your Punnett square nice and big. Um, Next, put your gametes or your sex cells up along the top. So I'm going to bring these two down here. And I'm going to bring these two over here. And these do happen to be the sperm cells from dad. So we'll let those tails mature and wiggle. And now, if this sperm fertilizes this egg, we get a child that's heterozygous. That would be a brown-eyed kid. This sperm and this egg, same thing. This sperm with this egg, little b, little b, blue-eyed child, and little b, little b, blue-eyed child. So now look at what you've got. You've got a Punnett square that predicts that your offspring are going to be, half of them are going to look like this, half of them are going to look like this. Well, what does that really mean? These are genotypes, okay? So now our genotypic ratio. Genotypic means that I want those two letters. Ratio means that I want some numbers. 
All right, so let's look. What genotypes do we have? We've got these two genotypes, and we've got two of them, two out of four. So we can say two out of four are big B, little b. That's a genotype. To two out of four, little b, little b. That's a genotypic ratio. If you like percentages, you could write it as 50% big B, little b, to 50% little b, little b. Okay? Phenotypic ratio. Phenotypic, phenotype means a physical description. And again, ratio means I need some numbers. So, looking at your Punnett square, what are the phenotypes of your offspring? Two of them have brown eyes, two of them have blue eyes. So again, two out of four have brown eyes to two out of four of our offspring are predicted to have blue eyes. Again, you could do percentages. All right, that's your basic problem. That's your basic solving method. Thank you.